they looked at it as a joke. <laughs> well, they would say, hey, you guys have gone to play. It's okay. <laughs> so that's the, that's the impression they had in their minds. My name is Ntembe Dennis, alias or stage name Dietrich Sparker 14. N is the 14th letter in the alphabet. So that is why I actually chose 14 because identity I think to me is one of the key things. I'm a professional choreographer. I have been dancing professionally for now five years. We had a lot of uh, influence from soccer because I started in soccer. You score a goal and maybe you do like one dance move and the crowd goes wild slowly into watching music videos of Chris Brown, watching Michael Jackson. I did a lot of cramp for a very good time. I love the way they use energy to tell messages and create all these interesting shapes and body formations. And I really love that they incorporated a big music star who at that time was one of my inspirations. So all the dots kept on connecting. And then after watching that, here I am trying to, to look who in Uganda knows this style. And I'm not seeing so many people until I go to meet a friend of mine who is um, the founder of Grand PG. CB or Kwasha Bones. At that point, I loved that he was far ahead of me in, in, the, in the art of cramp because now there it gave me that light of so Ugandans can actually handle this because there's a lot of stereotype at that time that these are not Ugandan dances, these are whites, but seeing a Ugandan do it gave me the first hope. So that's when I went back into my zone of, okay, let me go on internet and look for how do you learn cramp, step one, and yeah. With H2C, we like to put purpose to dance, and this is the reason why I would say I dance mainly for change. Now our dance class is mainly to help people to let loose of their strenuous things in their lives. It could be you're stressed from work, it could be you're heartbroken, it could be you're just, you've lost a parent, you need somewhere to let off that steam. So that's why we called it Let Loose. So that is the purpose of it. Even when we are teaching, we make sure people, it's not even about the move, we make sure people are in that mood to just let loose and release all that stress. If you have a dance piece that's purposeful, all the right people that will see that piece will start to value it. And then from that value is where money will start coming. And then also the fun that you want to have also keeps. So it's a chain, but the most important thing about it is the purpose. Because if you don't have the purpose, that is where, that's the step one of getting lost because that's where people will now look into fame or they need, they need direction. So for me personally, it's purpose and change that I really put a lot of emphasis on whenever I'm dancing. The purpose of H2C comes from the name, Here to Change. And um, one of the programs that I had spoken about that is driving change, one is the dance class called Let Loose. Then the second one is called the Dance Drive with H2C. Now, information that guides growth in our industry is very scarce. We do host people. We are looking at getting people from other fields because the information we lack, other fields have. So we keep trying to get those people from other industries to tell us how their industries operate. And then we borrow leaves from them and that's the main purpose for Dance Drive and um, we are so happy that some dancers are picking up to it because it takes time, it takes time since it's a new, a new program we have started. So it takes time, people are still picking onto it, 
then also our country has a data issue so you take them slowly by slowly but it's growing so music videos in my dance career have been very key i've done uh, so many quite a number so an artist he as an artist he comes he knows his budget in his head so he looks for a way to trick you into either lowering your price or undervaluing yourself it's it's been a real real hard fight because it's a learning process we, there's no guide and book to say okay okay at the time we were starting there was no guide of this is the right price supposed to charge you know? so you had to go through the the first stage of being given the platform which is a very important step that people minimize these days a lot but it's important because you need to first see how important that platform is before you get to value that you need to also do your best to to be valued at a price i found myself venturing into videography and more of um, film because i was more invested in it compared to music videos i, I find film more interesting because there's a lot that that um, it's more expressive and and I feel it's a growing industry that's bigger than music that I would want to really be part of. So my family is one of the the things I think I always thank God for because I wouldn't say they were supportive. It was more of a, they looked at it as a joke, <laughs> where they would say, hey, you guys have gone to play, it's okay. <laughs> I also kept showing them that, yes, I can do the dance and also study properly without having things like um, repeating a class or retaking. And, uh, and that was a very, very, I think for me, that is where they actually agreed that, okay, you can do your dance and also study it's not how they thought it was that you're in the club touching women what so that's the that's the impression they had in their mind so it's clear then then they said okay keep dancing but just make sure you're earning from it and also you're studying and having plans for other things that is where they actually gave the green light and most people ignore that step it is hard it's not easy because Dance requires a lot, even education requires a lot, but there's always a way to do that too, together.